Hi there, and welcome to the Nova Scotia Kitchens podcast. I am so glad that you're here. My name is Sherry Graham, and in each episode, I take you along with me as I visit friends old and new in their Nova Scotia kitchens, and we make one of their favorite everyday recipes together. You can see pictures from my visits and print the recipes at novascotiakitchens.com. I'm so glad that you're joining in, and thanks for listening. Enjoy the show. In today's episode, I'm visiting with my neighbor, Mrs. Trask, and she shares her family's molasses cookies recipe, which I've been lucky enough to have had delivered to my door on more than one occasion. The original recipe was from her mother-in-law, and back in 1948, she copied it to the recipe card that you can see a picture of on the website. It's pretty beautiful. Um, I'd also like to say this is the very first visit I did for the podcast, and I actually did not have a podcast planned as I was doing the recording. So are them some, there are some questions I might have followed up with, some different ways I would have steered the conversation, but I wanted to share it with you because Mrs. Trask is pretty great, and we did have a lovely visit together. Um, you'll hear her daughter Deb's voice a couple times during the visit, and yeah, I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for joining in. Our conversation begins just after Mrs. Trask asks me if I would like to see her original recipe card. Oh, I would love to see it. Well, okay, I'm gonna put that there. <laughs> I'll put that there. I'm not. All right. I'm not sure what will be of interest to you, but that's it. All so, how old would that be? That's the best kind. <laughs> I copied that down in 1948. Wow. When I was going to get married. That's my mother-in-law's recipe. That's pretty special. So that's the original card. <laughs> you can see it's well used. Yes. I don't know how many thousand people I've given it to, <laughs> but I had written it over uh, uh, there, and it, on the back I say, the original was since 1948, but that's a, that's a better copy. But even at that, it doesn't tell you anything. That, that's the exact copy of that. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll take a picture of the other one, see if it's legible. <laughs> Hang on a second. You see, doesn't give you pro it doesn't yes. give you any directions. You're just supposed to be able to figure that out. <laughs> I have uh, a whole bunch of recipes from... Adam's grandmother, who yeah. passed away a few years ago, yeah. and it's very much, like, it's all just a list of ingredients, and so you kind of figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Actually, the light's not too bad. I thought it might be, <laughs> I thought it might be kind of dark for... Oh. You're in your own shadow, too, from the yeah. light. Yeah, that's alright. Maybe that's good. I don't know. I can edit a little bit, and then I'll get one that's more legible. And then I'll just kind of scoot around and take some pictures, and... And then in the ensuing Perfect. years, I have, I have updated it by putting in proper amount. Oh, <laughs> uh, the whatever. more detailed version. I'll get that yeah. one too. <laughs> um. uh, so, the emergence of a recipe. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then you try something a little bit different, and everything that goes in there after. Okay. Well, this is kind of interesting because it has no eggs. This is an no egg. Very basic recipe, and the thing is, uh, Deb and I were talking about it. It's very old, and I I made use of what I learned for Mrs. When I did the Mrs. Trask series. Oh yes. Because of course the first people who came had access to molasses. Yeah. See, they, they were shipping the boats were. That's what they were bringing in was molasses. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, Deb pointed out to me that in Mar Jim Mar have you seen Margaret Conrad's book on ginger or did we talk about that one time? No. <laughs> no hurry. It's on the table now. We got it out. And, and she mentions that in the early years, ginger was important because uh, it was the one uh, condiment, what would you call it? Uh, flavor. Spice. Ingredient? Spice? Spice, yeah. Yeah. Salt, pepper, and ginger what was on everybody's shelf and that was it. 
Now we have added cinnamon to this recipe. Ah. I don't know when that happened, but this would have been, at, uh, I'm sure, uh, from the original times when molasses and ginger were the basis for all kinds of goodies. <laughs> awesome. So that, uh, see, that's the gooey mess yeah, that you started syrupy. off with. And what are, they're just called molasses cookies, right? That's molasses, molasses. a cup of molasses, molasses. and three yeah. quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Gotcha. And I just don't want any lumps left in the sugar. Uh, I don't, I don't think the sugar is as good as it used to be. <laughs> yeah? It, it, it's never, it's never been the same as it was when I was a kid, however. Ah, yes. And I use, I use basil. Yeah. My mother-in-law kept chicken fat. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, nice rich yeah. Ch yeah. yellow chicken fat and things like that. And I have done, but I don't, I'm not cooking enough that I've yeah. accumulated anything like that. So I just use basil. And because uh, it's it's so handy and it, it has flavor. I'm sure I get the right um, cup here. That'd be about right, I think. Get my phone. Smush that in. And I like mixing with a spoon. I've got lots yeah. of mixers and things, but I like. <laughs> And I really think, I think it does make a difference. And one cake that I make, if I do it with the beater, it's completely different to when I do it just hmm. by doing it by yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the base is soft enough that it just stirs right in. And this is my favorite spoon. It's got a hole in it, <laughs> you know? Yep. And someday it's going to bite the dust, and I'll have to see if I can find, <laughs> ever find another one. pretty color. How's that? Beautiful. And I make gingerbread men. This oh, recipe sorry. lends itself to gingerbread men. It lends itself to gingerbread houses because if you cook yeah. it flat and and uh, well if you can either make a paper one and cut it before yeah. you bake it or you can bake a big piece and cut it up. Afterward. Yeah yeah. I've tried it both ways and we've got it's perfect because oh, it's good. solid enough yeah. And it's still soft, that it makes a nice gingerbread house. Oh. So we've had some fun with that over the years. <laughs> I have, uh, I just got out some of the decorations last night, and I found our gingerbread cutters. So we have a set that you cut however many of each different thing, and then well, that's, just the right that's size. What you so. should, this is the recipe to use. All right. Perfect. I we can, might try I, that I, I can vouch for that. <laughs> I'll just make a couple of those. Oh, cute. Uh, I have a bigger... Gingerbread man, but these are big enough. <laughs> They're so cute. Actually. And you have to have your hands in it, you know. That's the best part. It feels so good. I love making bread or oh yeah. Anything you put your hands on. My original idea that Deb and I talked about was that I would make my Christmas bread, but that would have been hopeless. Because it's you know, it's the rising, back and let yeah. it rise. Then twice, and it's a long time to bake. Yeah. Whereas this this will be done before we know it. These are just examples that I'm showing you here. Yes. Um, now what I do usually I get a something or other out of my unending supply, and I might <laughs> make a face. <laughs> Cute. I might make a skirt. I may make pants. <laughs> it, it, you never know what's going to happen when it bakes, so they always look different. Yeah. So I'll just leave those. Um, the other thing, I might as well make some more. Oh, and I, I might as well make some of these just to show that they make nice Christmas cookies. Oh, yes. Pretty. I have baskets of cutters. Various description. Can we see how you're doing? <laughs> Is there anything I should be telling her that you can think of? No. Do you bake much, Deb? No, we don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> well, and lately I'm, I've been here for any. <laughs> Interesting. 
Okay, that'll do for a study. That'll do for one pan to go in the that oven. That's great. Perfect. And in a minute, we will. I will set the timer just for fun. And about 15 minutes is all it takes. But meanwhile, I'll be doing I do like that pan. timer. <laughs> well, it works perfectly. No. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> intended as an egg. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, my chickens are so. So funny. We had 10 eggs this morning. Huh? We had 10 eggs this morning. Oh, good. That was our... Oh, I brought you down another... Uh, I love food. those small ones. And my mom does too. She's like, oh, it's just the right size. They don't go through nearly as many as yeah, they do. Like, if I don't either. Yeah. So, so just I perfect. just get the eight size. and. Uh, oh, that's great. And I'll have to send you with some eggs back in it. Well, one of I just emptied <laughs> them into my fridge. So not this time. Okay. But... Uh, let me know. I'll and happily. I'll be back for Christmas. <laughs> It's a good exchange. Okay. It makes quite a few cookies. It, it makes a lot. Yeah, that looks like, it's funny because it's kind of, Rolls in look, I was just going to say, it just <laughs> keeps going and going. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I can remember making them with my grandmother. Oh, yeah? Uh, this is because she made... Well, the, the Margaret's Mount Molasses cookies, that's yeah. what uh, Mom always called them. Oh, the sun is peeking up, that's so nice. Yeah, Deb had a very, very nice grandmother. And my mother... This was Stuart's mother. That yeah. Yes, my mother was gone the first year I was married. Yes. My mom died right yeah, away. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. So, yeah. uh, uh, but Sarah's mother was, she loved being a grandmother, didn't she, Deb? She was a good grandmother. Aw. She was. Now this is another way to do it. Is that a lid from a spray? Oh, yeah, from a spray something. thing? <laughs> it's just the right size. Yeah, oh, it's perfect. Because I have these cute little things. Oh, cute. Little stamps, yeah. Santa. Oh, very cute. Oh, yeah, and it holds the detail really nicely. So, exactly. It does yeah. puff up and change. Yeah. It's not perfect. You know, it doesn't come out as nice as you might want, but they are kind of cute. Very cute. You have to start with it a bit thick so you can squash it. Right. Oh, they're very cute. What's this one? Oh, cute. That's a perfect <laughs> cute. Yeah. I have one that I don't use very often because I don't have many cookies like this that are well suited to stamping, but it has a little angel with a trumpet. Oh my. A little pottery one. Yeah, though. I have some other ones. Um, flowers and things. You know, it gives a... That, cute. that turns out quite well. It does. But as I say, you'll be surprised when it's cooked, it, it does puff up and fill in a bit. Right. It's not quite as delineated as, as when you start. However, I think they're fun. Oh, they're very cute. You could make them in a ball and do it, but I like to do it with the cutter. Yeah. It's a little more concise, that's all. Yeah. Keep it pretty well localized so you don't get in too big a mess. Could do some just plain too, I suppose. That's a nice size. Yes. I've seen the trees where they make stars of narrowing and then you stack them kind yes, of that way yes, and then you can yes, do yes, yes. I've always wanted to make one of those, but I never have. They just look so pretty when they look like a tree. Well, it, I've, I've made all kinds of things out of this recipe. What was it I used to make? I, I've made a wreath. Oh, pretty. Yes is yes. And then just... And, oh, and I, I drew a yes. circle and, and uh, put these and made a gingerbread wreath. And you baked and it? And I made a bowl. <laughs> Cute. 
Did you bake I it all it together? To somebody. Or did you like cook them separately and then put them together? No, no, I, I made it all and baked it. Oh, nice. Yeah, you could do it the other way, of course. Yeah. If you, Although if then you have to glue, goop it together with or something. With frosting or something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, now let's see. What should we do next? Well, we'll cut some more round ones, I guess. And it, the dough gets more and more solid as you... As more flour gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and sometimes it's better <laughs> and sometimes it's not. <laughs> However... Get some flour on the tree. Santa. Mm. Leave that one plain, I think. Well, we're getting there. Yes. How's our timing? Oh, we have a while to go. How long do you bake them? Was 15? it 18? 15. Well, I would, I keep looking because yeah. uh, they're going to be touching in a minute, I imagine. They will have spread enough to mm -hmm. show up a little bit that way. When I was a very little girl, somebody gave me uh, what was called a breadboard. It was a pastry board, I guess it was called. Yeah. With a rolling pin. Oh, nice. Full, uh, full shot. This is not it. Yeah. Because, um, and I've got it still. And uh, I don't know, somebody, my parents, friends, thought I should learn to do things. <laughs> anyway, I, I did. Uh, my mother let me go to the kitchen. Good. <laughs> and she was Mrs. Tidy. Yeah. And so I, as I look back, I'm amazed. <laughs> I know? hope Philip She just feels... ignored me and let me go do it. Well, that's what you do with your boys. It's true. And I have, and to, it, I have to not look. I have to and not it works. be involved. <laughs> it works, you know. <laughs> yeah, he made these brownies last night. And I said, okay, you just do it. And I did my thing. And they turned out beautifully. <laughs> Great. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should be trying to, to do with the shapes and sizes, but those are going no, in there. Let's see what's going on here. See how they puffed up? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's why we lose the the uh, pattern yeah. a lot. Yeah. However. <laughs> I'm big on raw dough. <laughs> well, there's no eggs in it either, so. And why not? Yeah. Do you want to see this coming out? Sure. <laughs> um, so many clothes. There we are. Well, in three weeks, we can't, we can't face it. <laughs> I have a good idea. Uh, why don't you take a picture on my iPad of her taking pictures of me doing this? <laughs> just for me to have. And I want to take a selfie after with you, if that's okay. Yeah. We're such a cute team. <laughs> our cute team. Here, I'll, I'll start with uh, my phone. I think I love that one. Cute. Yeah. Oh, that's it's great. with the copper pots and everything. Yeah, I, I love that. That, that works nicely. I was watching an old Martha Stewart. This is one of my favorite things to do, is to put on one from like the 80s. And she has, the ceiling is covered in like baskets. She has just baskets, baskets, baskets. And she has tons of copper molds, molds so lining sorry. just everywhere. I have a whole lot that can... I took down. I had so They're many. So pretty. <laughs> They're in the cupboard. I had them all over there <laughs> as well. I had brought a lamp that was copper to go with them. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> A light fixture. I it's mean, nice because it bounces the light back down instead of just because the shade makes light come down instead of just dispersing. So you can see it's a very quick and easy exercise. Yes. Oh, oh it smells so good. Yeah, well, they we'll smell nice. Open in a minute. minute. It's got another five minutes to go. Can I get a picture of you holding maybe one of the trays? Or a cookie or something. What would you like me to do? It's up to you. Look, look happy. <laughs> if you
You don't have to. I try to look happy most of the time. You do. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm not photogenic, I know that. Oh, more the world is full of awful okay. pictures of me. Oh. There you go. It's small on there, but Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Cheshire cat. Good one. <laughs> oh yeah. I've got lots to choose from. Anyway. <laughs> so so get that all cleared away. How will I do with that? I know what Thomas would do with it. Thomas would go. Oh, of course. Rub it in combos. Can't go wrong. They haven't learned yet not to wipe their hands on their clothes. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't have worn black pants. <laughs> Philip just takes Philip just takes whatever's on his hands and just wipes them off in his clothes. Oh, oh. <laughs> there was a time when I always wore an apron, and I just get used to wiping things off. Yeah, <laughs> from the things when I wore an apron more. <laughs> oh, it's not oh, awful. They anyway. brush it off. <laughs> so we got that a couple of minutes to go. And I love the picture of the lobster. It was so good. Oh, <laughs> good. Oh, you know, oh, and it was so pretty. It looked perfect. The meat wasn't like, it wasn't like in the spring, but it was really good. It was really good. When we would come home in the fall, we would come home for Thanksgiving, and we would come home sometimes through the winter and not stay here because we wouldn't open up. Yeah. But we always connected with Doug and Hazel. You see? Yeah. And they would always have a lobster. So He'd come for beans. <laughs> you know, Hazel's beans with lobster. <laughs> she'd say, well, come on over. And Stuart loved her beans. Uh, and so we would go, and she'd... Sometimes I think he was disappointed. <laughs> he got lobster instead of beans. I remember so, she used to make them for... Um, Potluck oh, whatever definitely. at the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Famous yeah. For beans. Beans. yeah. <laughs> she did them in a pressure cooker. Oh, okay. Have you do you use a pressure cooker? I have used a pressure ever... cooker for years and I haven't used one for years. Yep. But when they were growing up, Deb, remember I cooked everything in the pressure cooker. You did. <laughs> yeah. It was there's, wonderful. There's a new version of one that's come out called the Instant Pot. And it's a pressure cooker, but you can also use it as I don't know. There's like seven different things it's supposed to do. But so apparently it's bringing back pressure cooking. It's a thing, the Instant Pot. Well, with microwave, who needs it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the I, advantage is. But I, I, I really did, I did everything. And I, yeah. I only had one catastrophe. Oh. And it was a major one. <laughs> Uh-oh. What exploded? It was beets. Oh, no. You remember? <laughs> no, I've lost it. But it happened. And I don't know what, I, I obviously did something wrong. that. Because that's the only time I ever had a disaster. And, beans. and I can oh, see no. <laughs> Oh, everywhere. Oh, what a mess. It was terrible. What a mess. So here goes another plate. Hat tray out. Oh, they got so big. Heavens. I didn't expect those to be that big. However, those in. Santa a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that one looks pretty good. Those are nice, just manageable size to serve for tea, you know. Yes. But uh, for fun, these are kind of cute. Can't believe how big some of them seem. It's pliable now, but when they get cold, they're stiff, you see. So you don't want them taking on contours yes. when they're warm. You gotta keep them. Oh, they smell so good. Uh-huh. Well, we'll be into them in There we go. <laughs> That's it for that pan. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to put it all together. <laughs> There's just a few more. Oh, God, here we go. Then we'll put the kettle on and eat some of them. Yeah. 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 Now, of course, you could put icing and decorate these silly things, yes. but I, I don't usually bother. 
No, they're sweet enough. And yeah. I have, I have in the past put a hole in them and put a string. Yes. And done that sort of Ornaments, thing. Yeah. I had a bigger gingerbread man. He was much bigger than that. To well, yeah, and then they get too heavy. But um. uh, uh, anyway, these turned out better. Yeah, they look the good. The santas and the trees turned yeah. out really well. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Oh, I think it. it's fun. <laughs> Thanks so much to Mrs. Trask for sharing her recipe and her afternoon with me, and to her daughter Deb as well. Thanks to Julian Smith for composing and performing the theme music, and to Adam Graham for help with audio editing and just generally being awesome. Of course, thanks so much to you for listening. You can follow along on Instagram, Facebook, both at Nova Scotia Kitchens, and you can always email me at sherry, that's S-H-E-R-R-I-E, at novascotiakitchens.com. Until next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>